Hello everyone, in this segment we're going to talk about using the natural instincts of livestock that we can improve our loading and sorting and any time we're working in a corral with them by using those natural instincts to our advantage. So with that, looking at this clip, you see first off the handler is entering through the same gate that he wants the livestock to exit. He's pressuring in and backs up, which is, is one of the foundation ideas of, of uh, good stockmanship is pressure and release, and Joe does a very good job of, of demonstrating that right there for us. He also is training the animals as he lets them go by him in the alley right here, and he's counting these numbers off. We had to count the numbers. We wanted 72 on a trailer. And so he's training them there. Uh, the second time, he has allowed them to go by him. And by the t third time, when they get in the box with me, they're easy to handle and they're easy to go by us because they have been trained to do that. Of course, another natural instinct that we're going to see is animals always want to follow other animals. And so once we get one of the animals going up into the trailer or up the ramp, all of the animals behind it instinctively want to go along with it. So here I just give them room, let them uh, go by me. You see how each one of them files in line and starts up the ramp, get, moves right into the truck, and is, is easy for me, it's easy on them. We loaded 500 head here in about an hour and 45 minutes, seven semi-loads. And there was basically three people doing this. You can see here again as Joe gets out 28 head and he didn't get quite enough, so he just backs up, starts the movement again, and away they go. Animals always want to move in the direction they're headed, and that's another reason for entering the gate that you want the animals to leave from. That way all the animals are already looking at you, they're headed in the direction that you want them to go, and they're easy to start from that point. Animals always want to see what is pressuring them, so if we stay in the fronts of animals, then we get a lot better result because they can see us, and they like to go by us and around us, and so all of these point to one thing. If we want a good result working in these pens, we should work up toward the front, always remembering to enter through the gate that we want the animals to exit through. This just sets the stage for getting a good result where the animals are going to leave uh, where you have came through. A lot of times animals have very little patience with us, we like to start and stop animals, and so uh, we do that a couple of times, and then the animals, uh, they've ran out of patience with us. And the problem with all this is that we as humans have no patience at all. It is one of those things that we have to work on diligently to improve our patience and to be aware that that is definitely one of the key factors when we're uh, dealing with stock, is to give them the opportunity to, uh, to get the job done right, and we have to be patient in doing that sometimes. I'm sorting one back here because we had too many, but it was easy to hold back. You can see how easy they're going up the ramp. Nobody's up in the ramp. Nobody's up there causing any problems. And so this is how easy it can be to load these semis and to get a good result out of it. Now we're going to show Richard using some of these natural instincts in order to sort out uh, three head from another group, showing how you can do this in the field, something that some people might find difficult, but by using the natural instincts of livestock and pressure and release and being in the correct position and watching your livestock, Richard is going to do this fairly easily. 
notice how richard steps forward looks at the animals he wants the big cow to sort off he pressures her she goes ahead he needs to stop the second animal he doesn't want that animal to go to see how nicely it stopped he's going to ease the cow out of the way kind of look back see what's happening and now he has to get the animal the smaller calf there moved out it's kind of like a puzzle he has to look at all of them see which ones are ready to come see which animals he's wanting to pull out and how he can best get that animal moved out of the group by using things see how he pulls those two animals exactly the ones he wanted eases them out leaves the animals that he doesn't want and there he is he sorted three animals off nicely